How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. Back to get another review. A little bit of Hefeweizen time in the form of Arches Brewing's Queen Weiss. Uh, yeah, never had anything from Arches before. Um, they are a brewery out of uh, Hapeville, Georgia. Um, close to Atlanta, I assume. Um, this actually comes courtesy of Dan. Um, he's uh, he's from Atlanta, but he also he has a brewery in Panama. He ended up sending me a Panamanian beer, but dropped in a couple um, beers from Atlanta because he was in the States, um, not at his brewery. And uh, figured he'd show me around a bit of what the ATL has to offer. So it's pretty freaking cool of him. So thank you very much, dude. Um, anyway, as far as what this one says here, it says Arches... Um, Queen's Weiss, half of ice and 5.2% alcohol by volume. The side here, it says a simple light bodied ale that's been the style for choice of German royalty for centuries. It offers bright banana and clove flavors with a subtle pink bubblegum undertones. Designed on a Bavarian water profile. Done and done. Likewise, I really dig it actually. It, it reminds me of something. I don't know if it's like um, a video game sketch art or uh, I do a lot of 3D like kind of AutoCAD kind of stuff nowadays and it's kind of like almost like you'd see kind of like from a 3D modeling aspect. So it's kind of like that video game art before it becomes actual 3D modeling. Um, so yeah, wow, huge hiss on that when I popped it open. Uh, give her a pour, see what she's got. She looks pretty clear. Um, I was going to toss her in there, but um, you know. She wants to have a gigantic head, so who am I to tell her no? Let's pour it all the way to the top like a jerk off and um, talk about what do we have. Um, first things first, let's talk about the bottom before we talk about the top because that will dissipate hopefully relatively quickly. It's clear. I mean, God, last time I saw a kind of German-based hef that was that clear... Actually, I don't remember. Um, I mean, it's that crystal clear. Um, very, very soft kind of carbonation. It looks a lot like ginger ale more than anything else. Um, you have this kind of uh, weird kind of uh, pop rocky kind of carbonation up top. It's just really kind of aggressive. It's kind of crumbling down upon itself. And you can see there's these huge kind of indentations in the head. It's kind of just, you can see a good almost half inch deep into the head before it kind of dissipates down in there. These ones I'm talking about here. Um, and yeah, it, it's it's a unique head. It doesn't look much like a half head. Uh, it doesn't look much like a half body. Like I said, it looks more like ginger ale-like. It looks like um, my mom used to drink ginger ale. Um, if she had a beverage, adult beverage, it would be scotch and ginger. But she also just liked ginger ale in general. And when she would, um, you know, she didn't like the carbonation. And so she'd sprinkle a little bit of salt in there. Um, and that would make the carbonation go away. But at first it'd kind of fizz up really high. And that's what this reminds me of. So bring me back a little bit of childhood memories. Not necessarily a bad thing. <sighs> see if we can get a nose on her. <sighs> getting a little bit closer to that kind of German kind of half a because you're definitely getting a bit of those banana notes. You're definitely getting clove out of this sucker. It's got a nice kind of wheat profile to it. Um, it, it, it is. It, it's just on the side here. Banana, clove, crisp. It is more clove banana than crisp, but still very on point. Man, that clove is big. I'm usually pretty, uh, sus not susceptible, sensitive um, to clove. But this is big, but not too big. So I kind of dig it. Yeah, I'm going to dive in. See what she's got. Cheers. That is classic to a tea. I mean, you're getting a nice, rich banana slash bubblegum. When I talk about the bubblegum thing, they're definitely kind of meeting in the middle there. That clove, while big in the nose, isn't nearly as big in the mouth. Give a little bit of spicy pepperiness in it. A little bit more kind of in the Cezanne world than a kind of like a German, kind of Bavarian half of Hefeweizen. But at the same time, it's nice. It's crisp. It's banana. It's clove with that nice kind of bubblegum thing going on in the taste. I like it. I dig it. It's a quintessential summer beer. You can chug like 19 different billion different ones of these and uh, probably, well, end up in the hospital at the same time just... Um, Kind of enjoy yourself. It's, it's it's quintessential summer, quintessential German. That added component of it being crisp, being clear, which today is kind of a no-no, but it just lends itself to be a little bit more drinkable. None of those spices, none of that banana, none of that um, bubblegum, none of that stuff is weighing heavily on the palate, so you can definitely chug a few of these. I dig it. I think it's pretty good, damn good. Uh, Dating-wise, this is can November 28th. This is the beginning of April, so you do the math. So it also keeps, which is pretty damn nice. So yeah, let's talk about it. Is this one of the better 
American born have a vice since I've had as of late. Uh, it's definitely worthy of being in the conversation. Uh, it's just drinkable, chuggable, something you want to drink in the summer. I mean, not to keep being that on the nose with it. It's just tasty. I dig it. So, yeah, I like it. Value and availability? Uh, I have no idea. Maybe Dan or somebody else down there in Atlanta Way can actually chime in on this. Um, I'm assuming it's a shelf kind of beer. Usually when you're talking about these 12 ounce cans and it's the kind of format, that's typically the case, but I could be wrong. And leave you with, if you like what will you like this? If you like Hefes, do you know what I mean? If you like Hefe Weissens, um and you want to have an American born version of that, that brings a lot of that kind of half soul in a really chuggable package. Cause that's where you're gonna get here. That doesn't suck. So there you go, another review in the books. Uh, down there, if you want to talk about it, um, type Massive Beers into the old Google and find me doing the social media stuff. Type in Beer Massive, M-A-S-S-I-F, into Google or your favorite podcasting app to see me doing the podcasting stuff. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice little um, chugger of a half right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>